Detective Spencer. What a lovely surprise. Have a seat. Uh, let me guess. You found my daughter alive. Of course, you didn't because she isn't. So tell me you at least found Claudia's body because I'd like to give my girl a decent burial. If you feel like arranging a funeral, how about one for Joseph Limbowski, a.k.a. Joey Limbo? I understand he was a close associate of yours. Look, may he rest in peace. I had no idea he was ill. Uh, nothing a bullet and a broken larynx wouldn't fix. He died with three of his men. Oh, you're dropping like flies. As you can see, I'm trapped in this place like a caged animal. I survive through meditation and visualization. So, who do you make for the shooter? I don't know. Maybe you decided to make an example of Joey and his men. <laughs> if my arms could reach through these bars and make an example of anyone, it would be Sonny Corinthos. I'd happily get rid of the man who killed my daughter and Joey Limbo and who knows how many others. The world would be a better place. Well, and it's a good thing you're locked up in here, isn't it? You know what I worry about? What's that? Sentiment. It weakens the spine. Look how my son compromised himself to protect his sister. And I have a feeling that you might fall into a similar trap. So you have to ask yourself, how far will you bend over to protect friends and family? Because you mark my words. Joey Limbo died on Sonny Corinthos's orders, and your father's hands aren't exactly clean either. Your guard let me wait in here. Don't worry, I... He locked the desk first. Can I pour you some? Well, I'm a recovering addict. Besides, I'm on duty. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. So what do you think you're gonna get from me, Lucky, without my lawyer present? I'm following up on an incident on Front Street earlier this evening. Four men were gunned down, including Joey Limbo. Well, that's one hell of an incident, are they dead? Yeah. But there's a wrinkle that might interest you. Something that sets this apart from the usual mob hit. Joey Limbo was shot, but that's not what killed him. He died from a boot in his neck. Looks like they want to make sure the job was done. Yeah, but there's more. The body was posed. On his side, his hand pointing out. I'd like to hear what you know about that. I don't know anything about a body posed. Yeah. Didn't seem like something your guys would do. Cement shoes or gun and run is more your style, right? I pulled Lombowski's jacket to see if there was someone he had dealt with who might want him dead. I didn't see your name anywhere. I could have told you that, Lucky. Could you have told me I'd find my father's name? Granted, it was a long time ago, but Dad and Joey worked together back in the Frank Smith days. Luke Spencer, right there in black and white. I will say that you, you, Luke had nothing to do with Joey Limbo's death. How come you're so certain? Did my dad have any recent dealings with Joey Limbo? Well, you know what, Lucky? That's a conversation you're gonna have to have with your dad. And I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I can't imagine anything worse than your own son investigating you. A lot of us were surprised when you joined the force. I think I did it to get back at my dad. Granted, Luke is one of the, you know, best men I know. He, has, he, he does have flaws. But he's a great person, and I think he used to think that, right? Yeah, well, proximity can change a person's perspective, Sonny. So can growing up. My dad is... He's the most amazing son of a bitch I've ever known. I mean, I loved my childhood. He was... he was crazy. Even when he tried to be like other fathers, he was just 
he was just different. Like that time we went on the camping trip, you remember that? <laughs> you wanted to pierce your ears like, like Luke's. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were my heroes. I know he would have preferred it if I had followed in his footsteps, but... Well, you gotta admit, Lucky, it was a slap in your dad's face when you became a cop. I didn't, I didn't do it. Why did him. you? I mean, Aunt Ruby used to say the chickens always come home to roost. You can't tell me that you and my dad don't live with the sins of your own fathers every single day. And I just... I just decided it had to stop with me. You know, that I build something better for my own children. And I decided that before Cam and Jake came into my life, and I don't have any regrets so far. But you could have gone straight without wearing a badge or a million jobs. No, I know, man. I just, I needed to still be in the ring. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I couldn't fight for the other side. Now, justice shouldn't only be for people like you and my dad who have the muscle to take whatever you want whenever you want it. So maybe in some way my badge levels the playing field for people who don't have any power. Well, I'm sure that makes your father very proud. Even though it breaks his heart. Uh, your negotiations uh, must be in progress because your phone is off. Um, well, I eagerly await your return to the gallery to hear the exciting news of your success. Spinelli? I need to speak to you about the exhibit. Well, well it is... Um, the, the Jekyll's opinion of the artist's vision is for the ob observer to um, look inward to his darker self instead of turning a blind eye to the brutalities of society. I was more interested in the guest registry, actually. Why did every gangster in town show up to see this guy's work? How's the PI business going these days, Spinelli? It's a most worthy trade. And, um, McCall and Jackal supervised security at the gallery opening tonight, and as you can see, all went smoothly. You probably heard by now that Jason's a suspect in a multiple homicide on Front Street. Well, I mean, Stone Cold was in attendance at tonight's festivities with Fair Samantha. So that's supposed it. to be an alibi. It's too little too late. It's not like the determined detective to rush to judgment in such a manner. Well, let's just call it a feeling, then. The four victims were thugs, but they were humans, and now they're dead. And one of the bodies was posed like it was someone's idea of a joke. It's weird. The body I was talking about was posed just like the one in that picture. The photo I got in the mail proves 